Good morning, YouTube. How is everybody today? I hope you're all doing good. This is your old hillbilly buddy, Leo, bringing you guys another story. Today, I am out uh, in a little holler called Crystal Block Holler near Sarah Ann, West Virginia. Now, that may sound familiar because we've mentioned it in other videos. It's the final resting place of Hatfield McCoy feud clan leader Devil Ants Hatfield from the Hatfield McCoy feud. But besides that, it has a lot of its own history and its fair share of lost lives stories as well. Today, we have a lost lives story that truly personifies the word lost. Not just for the person I'm about to tell you about, but for countless others buried with her. First, I want to tell you about the lady we're going to talk about today and how her gravesite, along with countless others, was completely destroyed, bulldozed, and then forgotten until today. Laura Jackson was born September 25th 1895 in Middlesboro in Bell County, Kentucky. Her father was William Jackson and her mother was Anna Farr. In 1900, Laura's parents got divorced or possibly William died, we're not sure. But at 17, she's living with her two siblings, Henry and Pearl. They lived with their stepfather, Thomas Jaggers. By 1910, Laura's mother was alone with her children, Henry and Pearl, working at a restaurant. Laura was 27 and now lived as a boarder in different locations, working as a maid and other domestic duties. In 1930, she's living with Peter Parks, uh, excuse me, Jeter Parks, <laughs> with a G, that is, like Peter, but with a G. They are married, and Laura is 38. Jeter is 34. Jeter Parks was born July 10, 1895 in Sparta, North Carolina to Mamie Parks. They didn't have any children. In 1939, Jeter sadly died. He was 46 when he was buried in the White Plains Cemetery in Old Allegheny County in North Carolina. They didn't have much time together and Laura is back living in boarding homes and working as a maid. The last paper trail that we have of Laura is when she's 46 in 1940. But on May 18, 1960, uh, she died of hypertension. She was 64 at the time. Her address at the time was here on Crystal Block Holler. She was buried at the Crystal Block Cemetery, which was a cemetery in the area where I am now. So what makes this story a lost life story? Well, because back in 2004, a gas company wanted to cross the land that this cemetery sits on. So what did they do? Well, they bulldozed the headstones and left the bodies where they were completely wiping out these people's last well everything to connect them to this world their final resting places memorials flowers all of it just gone forever it's like in the poltergeist movie from the 1980s left the bodies and you only move the headstones you only move the headstones <laughs> move the but they didn't even move the stones like in the movie. They just ran over them with a bulldozer. Now, granted, some of it may have been covered. You know, the stones may not have been visible or a brush in the summer hit it from the driver until he was already over it. I suppose something like that is entirely possible. We'll never know for sure, I guess. And we have no clue who else is buried there as all records of this cemetery are gone. Does this matter? Well, I guess it depends on who you are and your personal views. 
but it matters to us and if you're watching this video it probably matters to you too today I think that I have pinpointed where this lost cemetery is I'm gonna see if I can find any signs that it ever existed this one was a very tough one to find we had almost nothing to go on and we're looking for an unmarked unlisted cemetery with no headstones but I knew that Crystal Block Road is less than two miles long and I knew that the dozer went through in 2004 but I had satellite data going back before that so I went through it frame by frame trying to find it as soon as I changed to the 2007 map over this very spot I could see clearly where this happened the cemetery clearing just disappeared and a tram road was in its place in the very next frame the only problem is that my target area is about 400 yards long by about 300 yards wide and on a mountainside and it's getting hot but either way I'm here now and I'm gonna go try to find this old graveyard now, I just started up this little hill here up this little path I figured I'd tell you the story you know you climbing the hill telling stories don't work too well you get out of breath so I'm gonna turn my camera off here and I'm gonna go do some exploring and get back in the mountains watch for snakes obviously but uh, I'm going to get back in this mountain here and I'm going to see if I can find this old graveyard. Alright guys, I'm going to turn the camera off and do a little bit of exploring back in the woods. And hopefully we'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I've come to a fork in the road. Got one going that way, one going that way, and that's the way I came in right there. So it looks like it's time to hit goat gear <laughs> and start climbing some mountains. I figure we'll go check this one first. This flat right here looks very promising. A lot of the old graveyards that we find I like that you'll have where a hill will go up and level off and then the mountain directly behind it that flat is where you will find a lot of these old mountain cemeteries uh, you know realistically speaking you know I've mentioned this in other videos check out that creek look at that how pretty I've mentioned in other videos, you know, you never know once you, you get to these places. Wow, look at this. This is really pretty. But the level ground um, was saved. The nice level ground down in the valleys was saved for homes and schools and businesses and churches and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And the graveyards were put back on mountains here. And, you know, if you live in a mountainous area, you know, you've probably, you've probably seen that yourself. So, you know, that's one of those things, you know, you, if you want to find it, there's a mountain there. So you better be prepared to climb the mountain. Simple as that. At least it's nice and shady down here under the canopy. I've got a huge canopy directly above me and what I'm looking for is I saw the satellite image the gas well line runs right up through this way and around the hill so either the cemetery is up here or back at that fork and go up the mountain that way but we'll try this one first and just see if we can see any signs at all of an old graveyard you know, I would take headstones knocked over or anything even remotely close. But apparently, according to records, this cemetery doesn't exist. 
but we have death record where Laura was indeed buried here and we found the old story about the graveyard getting bulldozed in 2004 of course all right we're getting a little bit steeper here so I'm gonna shut the camera down again and do some more climbing I'll see you guys in a minute found something I wanted to show you guys check this out I don't know what their real name is but when I was a little kid that they, they hang out around water and uh, when I was a little kid they were called water dogs <laughs> uh, you can pick them up and pet them play with them all that stuff you know what I mean they, they don't seem to care they don't seem to mind it's a friendly little lizard <laughs> all right let's get on up the hill I just thought I'd show you the water dog I'll say one thing, these old mountains a lot easier to climb in the winter, that much is for sure, <laughs> look how steep that is, uh, and I'm still not at the top, <sighs> alright, take a five and then move on, I just thought I'd show y'all this, some of the stuff that you have to navigate to do these old stories find these old graveyards I just thought I'd show y'all this real quick well I found the gas well and there's the gas line comes down here goes through here and heads back down the mountain right there that right there is my guide that should take me right to it if this ain't it right here Although I didn't see, I didn't see anything that looks like it could be a headstone. Of course, a lot of these old graveyards are old field stones. There's no headstone to it. It's just an old rock. But the grave that we're looking for was definitely had a headstone. So that's kind of what we're hoping to find. So I followed the road up found the gas well right there right there so now I gotta follow the pipe and go back down and see where that pipe leads if this ain't it then that should lead me right to it and even if we don't find them we'll give it one hell of a try Get through the brush here. Looking for anything. It looks like it could be an old field stone right there. No, I think it's just dirt. Well, yep, it's dirt with moss on it. Look, something living underneath there, too. <sighs> okay, gas line. Follow this bad boy down the mountain. See where she goes. Still following. The gas line down the mountain. It's him right there. One right down through there. I haven't seen, so far, haven't seen anything that remotely, you know, not even a clue. But I see a level spot down here not too far. So we'll see if that might be it. Just looking for anything you know the one gravestone that we know was here could very easily be buried yeah I thought I'd share that with y'all too very sharing person huh 
Wow, check this out. This is some hardcore West Virginia mountains here, guys. We doing it for real today. Now what's these? Mm, spider webs, orb weavers. What is that? And the gas line goes down there and across. Looks like there's a path, but it dead ends right there. Hello. I see some kind of cut stones. Look at that. Whoa. A rotten log gave way. That looks like a cut stone to me. So does that one. It's awful big though. I wouldn't imagine they would make boundaries and stuff out of stuff that big, but I could be wrong. I've seen graveyards that have a lot more extravagant stuff than a large rock. All right, let me get to back to my gas line and keep following him. I'm gonna have to go around here in a minute I can see where it goes down. Goes up right there through a bunch of brush. So it looks like this crosses that other trail that I saw earlier. The one I didn't take would be, wouldn't it? Okay, it's not on this side of the valley. There's the creek and it starts back up. All right, where's the line go? Okay, it kind of turns on a 45 and goes right up through that way. Let's see, that other road, they would intersect right about there. Okay, shame I didn't see that going up. This looked like another log over here. I didn't even notice it. So I went up on that side, I went up there and around and found the gas well up that way and then started following the pike back down the mountain. So I'm gonna go down this way, down to that other intersection. It'll be a right going back down with a left coming up. Be a right going up the mountain when I get back down here to the intersection. All right, it ain't on this side. Never let it be said that I won't go look though, huh? Check this out. Found a little spring coming right out of the ground. Look at that. It's like someone, someone has tapped it. They got a foot valve right there and got this line going down. So somebody's somebody's got natural spring water pumped right to their kitchen sink don't they nice little setup looks like it's been a long time since that was done don't it moss on the rocks looks like it's been a minute since somebody did this just knew this old spring was up here and came up and put in a line all right i just thought i'd show you all that let me get across the creek here and head on back down. I haven't went down to the intersection yet. I just thought I'd show y'all the little spring real fast. Pretty, isn't it? Very pretty place. Mm. Just look at that. Very, very wildernessy, isn't it? Okay, now my other trail should be right out here. Well, I made it back down to the intersection. 
almost has to be up this way I took this one way up through there crossed over to the gas well followed the line down it came out to a different path I wasn't a hundred percent sure I was on the right track but you know we're going down we're following the creek it has to intersect somewhere so it came out right down here and popped out right on the curve just right above the intersection but I do believe I'm gonna sit down and take me a five before I go mountain goat on the other side it's not just this is a tough one guys it's not just the heat the all this stuff the terrain it's all coming together to make like a perfect little storm make this place that much harder to find we ain't giving up yet we're only halfway through where I mentioned I had an area about 400 yards by about 300 yards I think I've covered about half and it's like super super steep vegetation super hot you know that kind of thing well, not super hot it's in the 80s it's hot enough that's for sure but here in a minute I'm gonna catch my breath and take up the other side it's a tough one I'll say that it's definitely it's not the biggest mountains I've climbed well so far anyway to find an old graveyard it's certainly certainly the hardest in this kind of weather <sighs> good lord More uphill. I noticed what was left of one going right up through there. But this one looks, this is newer. I'm guessing this is a little tram road that they made to take the gas lines up the mountain. So we'll follow it and uh, just see where it intersects. Sure is a pretty day. <sighs> What's that? I think it's a log. Working hard for this one, guys. Well, I'm pretty sure I found it. I'm at the top of the second mountain and found an old TV. Who in the world would bring a big old TV up here and dump it off on top of a mountain? It just seems like all flawed work get rid of a stupid TV. Uh, here we are. Now I found several things that would indicate <coughs> to me that this is indeed the cemetery. Found several look like field stones over graves. Old mildewed funerary flowers. Right here by this log by the TV. I'll show you something else I found. Found some old fence posts that had been knocked down and were laying flat. Saw a couple. There's one right there, one right here by the tree that looks like they could be dips from graves. But right up here. Let me get back up here. I believe, I believe that this was it right here. It's the only level spot up here that I can find. And in the old satellite images, 
from before 2004 it came up to a flat and in the 2007 video after the gas line came through you could see the cutout in the trees running down the side of the mountain where the gas line went gas line right through here runs right down through there look at this old fence posts knocked down split rail fence posts there's two of them right here three of them it's another one right there three split rail fence posts right in the middle of this opening uh, I can't 100% verify it but I'm pretty sure that I'm walking across these old graves right now kind of looking to see what else I could find but I think just with what I found so far the old funerary flowers the only clearing on the line you know this is this is it and the old fence posts I mean this was a tough one I knew we knew coming out of the gate that this was going to be a really really tough one to find you know, we had, you're looking for an unmarked that graveyard that doesn't exist. And all you've got is this one grave to go on that it was buried, that she was buried up here. And from there, it's satellite images. And just coming out here firsthand, and take firsthand look. But it looks as though I have found the old graveyard. So, I'm going to go. You can never be 100% sure. You know? I mean, you could do GPR, ground penetrating radar, something like that. And maybe find the graveyards, find the graves. But, other than something like that, it's all speculation. This is the highest one on the hottest day. I did one that was higher. I climbed a... So I think it was a six or eight hundred foot mountain. Didn't find it. Came back down. Climbed a two thousand foot mountain and found it. But I didn't climb quite that high today. But I did have to go up two different sides. And it's a lot warmer today. Than it was back in the winter. Anyhow, I guess. I suppose... As anticlimactic as it is, I was hoping to find the old gravestone, you know? Of course, I know that's a little bit optimistic. A little overly optimistic to hope to find the very gravestone that you're looking for turned over, laying face up after it's been bulldozed and laid for decades. I mean, it's extremely rare you're going to find something like that but by god we'll try won't we we'll give it a try anyway i'm gonna i do believe i'm gonna call this one found i guess my next step head back down the mountain but anyway guys thank y'all for coming along today and hearing our little story and going mountain goating with leo <laughs> <laughs> by god we covered some ground today we covered some mountainside today that's for sure <sighs> rest well everybody rest in peace well hold the phone hold up one second here guess what I know I already ended the video started back down thought well I may as well do one sweep circle the graveyard before I left right there's the spot that I found with the broken uh, fence post the gas lines right through there went out wide and swept through the mountains through that valley came back up this side and look what I found I found the graveyard y'all 
I found what's left of it anyway. The rest of it back here is completely wiped out. The grave that we were looking for is gone. But I did find the graveyard. Grave there, grave there, grave there. This one here is Daniel Obert. Born in 1900 and died in 1965. And this one here says husband Frank Phillips May 8th, 1890 to February 18th, 1960. We found it, guys. Do you believe that? This is... I can't believe it. It ain't lost after all. There's more here. There's one here. There's one there. 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 Here's one. There's two. Here's one. There's one, two, three. That makes you feel really good. The only two marked graves I could find. I started coming around through there and got up down in here and saw the yucca plants. Those don't just grow wild here. They grow on graveyards. I know it doesn't matter to a lot in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways it does. And I really wanted to find it, and I'll be honest, it was a huge sigh of relief when I did. But we've got you guys recorded now. We know where you're at. And we'll do our best to preserve your memory. The others here, we'll never know who they are because the graveyard technically doesn't even exist. The one grave is all that was listed as being here. These two, as near as we can tell, they don't even exist. That's why I wanted to get those on video so that we can make sure that the ones we did find, we can document. I found two that we can document. All right, let's try this. Close the video out again thing. Thank y'all for coming along, all that good stuff. Very much appreciate you. And I hope you <laughs> I guess you guys probably aren't as half as excited as I am about finding this, but I would imagine a few of you probably are. Thank you guys again. We'll see you later. Leo out. Well, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Remember I've done said Leo out twice? Guess what? It ain't. Here's another one. I can't make out a name on it. And you can see the road for the gas well came up right here and went right up through the middle of the graveyard. Here's a grave. Right over there's the two stones I just showed you. And right up here's the flat that I was actually looking for. I was right in the middle of this graveyard when I went up and didn't even know it. I see another one. Right there. Let's see the marker. I bet there's one. There's a stone. There's a stone right there. I'm going to look some more. Yeah, I know. I don't ever quit. I know. Now that I know I'm on the right spot, we're just that much more determined now. We'll go to 120%. If that's what it takes. That's what it takes. I see another one. It's 
exactly what it took here, didn't it? It took everything I had. And then some. Here's another one. Right here. Old marker. Two graves here. I walked right by these going up. And didn't even three graves. I walked right by these and didn't even see them. The flat is right there. We found it. And you can see, actually see the evidence of where this was destroyed. Where the graves were knocked over to make way for a gas line. Wow, what a day. What a day. Well, all right. For the third time in this video, <laughs> a very happy and very exhausted stop. I see another one. I almost said it, didn't I? There's one with some. Look at that one. That's a handmade one right there. There's one. I'm finding them left and right now, guys. They're hard to find. Look at this. This one's knocked over. I'll be right back. I usually don't mess with these, but this is an abandoned cemetery that's been bulldozed anyway. So I don't think flipping a stone back over to see who that is is going to do any harm. I'll be right back. Well, I tried and tried and tried. I can't get it loose. It's stuck. It is really in there real good. I can't get the thing loose. But I did find right beside of it look here I thought I might have found Laura's grave that we were looking for but it's not this is Dan Newsom Jr. March 8th 1924 to November 8th 1940 and you can see this one's knocked over too wow they went right through the middle of it didn't they they took the bulldozer right through the middle of the graveyard Wow. Okay, this is the bottom of it. I do believe that's all of them. I have swept this hillside like you guys would not believe. Crawling under brush through briars, trees. I probably got a dozen ticks. But by God, we found it, didn't we? Okay, now back down the mountain again, Leo out, etc., etc., etc. See you guys next time. Thank you for coming along, and we'll get all these graves that we did find recorded and uh, update information as necessary. Once again, thank you guys for coming along, Leo out.